In this video we are going to talk about 7 weird and strange sea creatures. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. It's no surprise that the deep water has piqued human interest for centuries and with good reason. Once we have passed the zone where light can enter the water, we will find ourselves in the dark depths of the ocean, which are teeming with unique and fascinating creatures. When it comes to the deep ocean, we know astonishingly little. In fact, we know more about the surface of the moon than we do about the ocean floor. It should come as no surprise that the ocean's deepest residents do not receive the same level of attention as their shallower counterparts. So, get ready to take a big breath and dive in. Here are seven of the strangest and most bizarre water animals you've ever seen. Number 7. Giant Squid. The giant squid, as its name implies, can grow to be more than 40 feet in length, making it one of the world's largest invertebrates or animals without backbones, both in terms of length and in terms of overall size, making it one of the world's largest invertebrates or animals without backbones in terms of length and overall size. Considering that these species reside at depths ranging from 1,000 to 2,000 feet, conducting research on them is extremely difficult. Their nutritional information comes from dead squid that have washed up on the shore or that have been caught in fishermen's nets, which has provided the majority of the knowledge we have on them to this point. However, despite the fact that little is known about their eyes, we do know that they are the largest in the animal kingdom, with eyeballs measuring up to 10 inches in diameter and capable of picking up the minuscule amounts of light that penetrate deep water. Number 6. Gulper Eel. Gupper eels, also known as pelican eels, are a species of fish that are among the most bizarre-looking creatures that can be found in the ocean. They are distinguished by a rounded head and a long, slender body. It has a mouth that is unusually large in comparison to the rest of its body, and it is capable of swallowing prey that is several times the size of the eel, according to some estimates. Similar to how a pelican uses its big beak to scoop up meat from the ground, they utilize their lips to sweep up their prey. Gulper eels are believed to be endowed with a bioluminescent organ, similar to that of the anglerfish, which it can utilize to attract prey to itself, according to research. Number 5. Vampire Squid. Even though it has a blood-red color and is known as the vampire squid, the vampire squid is not a vampire that drains the blood from the bodies of its victims. Cephalopods, on the other hand, prefer to graze on dead plankton and other organic waste that has moved down to the ocean's depths, rather than devouring live plankton and other organic waste. Instead of producing ink, which would be of little use in the deep water's black color, they exhale a bioluminescent material that causes predators to lose sight of them. This is in contrast to other cephalopods, which create ink. Number 4. Coelacanth. When the coelacanth was originally discovered in 1938, it was compared to the experience of discovering a T-Rex on the loose in the streets today, as a result of this. A coelacanth that had been considered to be extinct 65 million years ago was unearthed in South Africa by a museum curator, defying scientific consensus and challenging scientific orthodoxy. They can grow to be more than 7 feet in length, and they can survive at depths of up to 2,300 feet. Fish appear to be walking in water because of the way their paired lobe fins move when they are in reality swimming, which gives the impression that they are. Animals that have four legs, such as tetrapods, have lobe fins that are similar in appearance to those of other animals, in contrast to fish. Number 3. Giant Isopod. When compared to a roly-poly insect, an isopod is similar to King Kong in terms of size and fright factor, and it has the ability to star in a B-grade horror film. The gigantic isopod is a crustacean, and it shares many characteristics with the pillbug, which you may have seen in your neighborhood. They are predators that live on the ocean floor at depths of up to 7,000 feet and prey on other marine animals, according to the National Geographic. Large isopods can go for long periods of time without feeding on the deep ocean floor since there is a limited quantity of food there. When the opportunity arises, they feast on themselves. Number 2. Six Gill Shark. Six gill sharks are so named due to the fact that they have six gill slits on each side of their bodies, which is how they obtained their name. Several other well-known shark species, such as the black-tip reef shark, the bull shark, the blue shark, 
the hammerhead shark, and the great white shark, have only five gill slits at the mouths of their respective bodies. Additionally, there is a variety of shark known as the seven gill, which has you got its seven gill openings and can be found in both freshwater and saltwater environments in the ocean. As a result of their great size, six gill sharks can grow to reach up to 16 feet in length, making them one of the ocean's most powerful predators. During the night, their primary style of patrolling is at the surface in search of prey, yet they are capable of diving to depths of up to 8,200 feet during the day, if necessary. Number 1. Anglerfish. As you near the end of a path illuminated by a warm, enticing light, you come face to face with a mouthful of razor-sharp fangs that you have to brush aside. As depicted in the film Finding Nemo, this is the terrible fate of the deep water anglerfish's prey. Anglerfishes in the deep water have evolved a clever mode of hunting in which they employ a brilliant lure, which gets its glow from specialized bacteria, to tempt small fish and crustaceans to come up close to the anglerfish and feed on it. Only females, on the other hand, are able to make advantage of the lures that are readily available to them. Furthermore, they use it to attract males, who will then bite the female and fertilize her eggs as a result of their interest for the female's eggs. What do you think about our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.